Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these. It's a GoPro glove mount. Uh, it uses the head strap front mount or the head strap kit. Yes, head strap kit, a uh, plate from that, a couple of zap straps, and just a pair of any pair of gloves that has a back on it. So this could be bike gloves, it could be skydiving gloves, it could be diving gloves. It's totally possible with whatever kind of gloves you've got to mount a GoPro onto the back of it. So there it is. Let's see how we make it. All right, so to make this mount, we're gonna need a pair of gloves, of course, being a glove mount. Uh, I've got a simple pair of construction gloves here, but if you wanna use something like bike gloves or kind of anything at all, it's completely possible. You just need to make sure there's a nice material over the back of the hand for the mount to go on. The mount that we're gonna be using for this mount is, of course, the GoPro head strap mount. You will have noticed that in the past I've used it for all kinds of mounts like this that are kind of second hand, or uh, custom mounts which are mounted with uh, zap straps. So again, like my backpack mount, as well as my baseball hat mount, we're gonna be using zap straps, zip ties, cable ties, whatever else you want to call them, to mount the head strap mount onto the glove. And, of course, a GoPro camera, and then a way to punch holes in the material on the back of the hand. If you want to use a needle and a Bic lighter to get the needle a little bit hot so it goes through nice, you can do that. Uh, I'm going to just use a soldering iron because it's really quick and easy. And then, of course, a pair of scissors to trim off the excess of the zap straps. And we're done. All right, so let's get started here. I'm trying to decide first decision you have to make is what hand you're gonna go on. I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna go on my left hand just because that way I have uh, my right hand open to do other things with. And I feel like that if I have something in my right hand, I may wanna film it with my left. So I'm gonna go on the left glove, which is this one, which is a good thing to make sure of and you know why you're doing it, for what reasons. First, again, the right hand would be just as good too. If you think your right hand would be more stable, then use your right. Uh, then we need the mount and then a decision on how we're gonna put the mount on. I would recommend you put the glove on. Do it up. And then close your hand because it's more than likely you're gonna have your fist closed for the whole um, process. And then go ahead and grab your head strap mount, the base plate of your head strap, the base plate of your head strap mount. Now this is the front piece of it. Uh, if you're not sure how to get one of these out of a head strap mount, watch the video that's linked in the description and I'll show you exactly how to do that. It doesn't take very long and you just take apart the head strap basically, it just pulls the side and then place it on your hand. Now what I've found when I've played with this is that it works best sideways like this. You can either go this way or this way, I think that I'm gonna go like this so that I can set the camera on it and I will be able to shoot either myself sideways if my fist is like this or I can throw an extender bar in there and have the camera facing forward. So that's my plan for where my mount is gonna go. We're gonna get our Sharpie so I had to go find a better Sharpie that would actually show up. I found a silver Sharpie. In this, it will be more possible to see at least a ballpark of where I need my holes to be. So there's the first one. Over there. There's the second one. And the fourth one is there. All right, so again, we have to decide. The next decision now is where the straps are gonna go around. So I'm gonna have another hole over there, another hole over here, and on the top and here, we're gonna have another hole here and here. And what these are for is the, the zap straps have to go in somewhere and out at another point. So you can't just have the zap strap going in, it actually has to come out again. So the zap strap's gonna go in through this hole, around the mount, and then back out. So I'm gonna take the glove off now and punch the holes in it. Now 
Now my soldering iron's hot, I'm going to isolate each one of the holes and then making sure my fingers are well clear of the soldering iron, poke the hole as according to where my marks are. The reason we're using something really hot like a soldering iron or a needle that you've heated up with your Bic lighter is that when this goes through the um, the material on the back not only does it poke a hole but it also burns the edges and melts them so that there is uh, there's no way of the fabric fraying afterwards. So after our holes are punched we're going to take our zap straps run them through the hole and then back out of the other one. I like to make I like to preload my zap straps before I go and put the mount on. I just find it makes it easier. So we're going in there, out that one. Little zap straps like this can be had at uh, almost any hardware store for very, very cheap. And uh, I found them actually very useful in mounts like this. If I ever want to take these mounts apart, I simply cut the zap straps off, take my head strap back, and the holes stay in whatever I've put them in really without affecting the performance of it at all and yet if I ever want to remount the camera I simply uh, reattach the zap straps and it's all set up. So as I thread these through the mount I'm just gonna pre... I'm gonna start the zap straps but not tighten them down until I have all of the mount set up. So now I'm going to go ahead we will cinch down each one of these zap straps like so and then cut them off. Once you've got each of the zap straps tight, we are free to um, cut the ends of them off. Now, we simply slide the glove on, completely unheated by the mount on the back of it. Slide in our camera, and then bolt the camera on. And there it is guys, that is a glove mounted GoPro. So there it is guys, that's our GoPro mounted on a glove. You can kind of see it's a pretty awesome little mount, it's reasonably solid, kind of how solid it is depends on how tight fitting and uh, your, your gloves are, if they're really loose and baggy, then of course it's not going to be that good. But if it's uh, if they're a super tight fit, then they're going to be pretty tight. It's going to be pretty solid and not move around much at all. Uh, the mount itself is kind of simple, easy to set up. And once you take it apart, it doesn't really inhibit your gloves that much. It, the mount's on the back of it, so it doesn't get in the way of your hands. Your fingers all work perfectly well. You could grab anything you wanted. Uh, you'd be able to... Just for example, you'd be able to work your GoPro remote just fine using your hand with the GoPro mount on the back of it. So it's kind of like a, it's a pretty cool mount because if you're wearing gloves or whatever you're doing, I think like skydiving or scuba diving or something or biking, you can kind of just throw the camera on there, not think about it too much, and it's just kind of solid and uh, secure and ready whenever you want it. So guys, thanks for watching another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, Make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for lots more videos.